I'm here with Ben Kay, who's played in plenty of games like this. Both teams ready for the kickoff. And that's a very high ball from the kickoff. Marchant is beneath the kick. He gets back onto his feet to challenge for the ball. A poor pass by Armand. Williams breaks loose in space. Nothing will stop him from there. Oh, look at that by Williams. How about that, Ben? The move with such fervent determination. That's right, Rick. They were so tenacious, and they got their reward with that try. Replacement for Harlequins. Off goes Marl. On comes Collier. Be a change for Harlequins. Sexton takes the ball to the ground. They're scrapping for the ball. Sexton teaming up with Harris. A great platform to attack from here, from this rock. Harris makes a pass. Rock falls. They've held on to the ball. In they go to the run. They've managed to keep possession of the ball. The ball's moved on. He gives the ball. Sharp passing. Look at this. Plenty of space out wide. He launches an up and under. And that's an up and under from... Taken by Kerr. The referee says that's a rock. Oh, they've lost the ball there. He passes the ball. He needs to go wide. There's the tackle. Here's the rock being created. Sexton with Vahamahina. They're moving the ball well. He just switched off in that tackle. He can't be called now. Great work, clinically executed. Absolutely. With that move, they've really raised their game. Nil for the moment between the two teams. And it sails between the posts. Wigglesworth recovers the ball. They space outside, but Moster. Solid handoff there. Yeah, nothing's going to stop him from there. Moster breaks free and scores. They needed the score, and it's worked perfectly. What a move. Concentration on the kicker's face. I 
he's got it. Well taken. And he gives a great clearing kick. Treadwell steams along the outside. And they create a more. We're just waiting for the referee's whistle to bring this half to an end now. It's stopped by Harlequins. Good passing. They must get the ball out to the wingers. Great pass. It's a rock. The attacking team. Keeps the ball. That's right, Nick. That one's clearly come straight off the training field. The ball's being moved around. Oh, what a move that was, and what a try. And the score represents their domination. Can't say much more, Nick. That try's just confirmed their dominance over the game. To convert the try, here's the kicker. And he adds the two points. 28 nil. Well, I've got one viewer. Um, if there's any questions that you would like to ask about Rugby 20, I'm more than willing to answer any questions that you guys might have. They're keeping the ball alive with all these offloads. They took the ball in and it's still there. Clifford tackled Treadwell. And a ruck is formed. And they keep possession. Sexton, send it on to Earls. Oh, that was well played out wide. Well, that break showing that he really is in the mood. And that's a try! Yeah, I fully agree. They're clearly in charge now, and they've given themselves even more breathing space. They haven't succumbed to complacency, and they've kept up the pressure on their opponents. Can you go and solo mode after your game, please? Um, Logan, this is the solo mode. Um, I'm playing as one of the now teams that the I have created. I've managed to, to buy a couple of uh, players with the points and stuff that I have received so far. Recovered by um, you can't change your name of the club at the moment. Um, I I did speak or I did send a message to Rugby 20 earlier today and they said there will be patches. Um, I don't know what it really is going to to change. Um, hopefully one of it will be that you'll be able to change the name of your team that you create. Keeping the ball in play. The ball's kept alive. Off to the side for Williams. What more can you say? They were already ahead and now. Ah, that's a pleasure. I agree, Nick. Okay, really cool, man. Points, but it seems they just wanted to turn the screw. Loads of concentration as he prepares for this. Yeah, game. I've been playing this game for a couple of hours now and. I must say I'm a little bit disappointed in some of Sint, but there's just too many uh, things that still bugging me, like the ruck that you can steal so easily. And then I don't know if you guys noticed that uh, 
there's a major amount of high tackles made by the opposition. Um, I haven't noticed in this game, but it's because I've had, I don't know what the reason is that we haven't seen it so much in this game. Um, this is on pro mode. Um, it's really too easy for me at the moment. Um, I would like to see maybe if they do get a patch that they make it a little bit more difficult to steal the opposition rucks and just tweak a little uh, stuff to make it a little bit more. Recovers the ball. The ball's passed. And that's the end of normal time in this match. In they go to the run. Ball is still in their possession. It's a run. Uh, yes, the pro is the highest difficulty in this game. Um, it's like I say, I find it a little bit too easy. Um, I don't know for how long this game will keep me busy if it's going to continue like this. Because, I mean, anybody would like a challenge. And to win 49-0, it's just not good enough. Make that 54 or 56. Now this kick for the extra two points. I've gotten used to the goal kicking. It's actually That's not well that difficult. Just need to consider the wind as well. Right. Oh no, fuck. That is the amateur difficulty. Um, it's probably when when I set it up for for the second season. Um, I'll go ahead and go and change it just now. Couldn't understand why I've been winning with so uh, big scores, but even on pro, I'll show you guys if you still stay tuned. I'll show you guys that the pro difficulty is also not that difficult. Um, let me just go out quickly and go to my options. I don't know for what reason it went to amateur. Um, let's go back to solo mode, um, continue the career. Okay, I'll be playing uh, Sail Sharks next. So the team, the stamina during the season um, goes down and you have to change your lineup regularly to avoid um, I think it was free no hell four anyway um, so you have to watch your stamina gauge as well um, make regular changes to your lineup Um, you basically go to to uh, my squad mode and then you go to your booster packs and you can buy booster packs that, uh, you can't actually pick the players that you want they give it to you yourself um, I think what I did is um, I did buy a few booster packs for players and then also um, I bought which team did I buy? Uh, it was around 50,000 50, points, and I only managed to get Liam Williams in that package that was actually worth um, picking. Um, Johnny Sexton, I bought Franco Mostert. Um, those are the guys that they give you. You 
I think every player gets uh, different cards. It's like the ultimate team. Um, right. So I've been wondering why the high tackle or the penalty count was low. It was because I played on amateur mode. I don't know for what reason it went down to amateur mode. But I will just show you guys that it's still quite easy on pro mode as well. No. Right, there was a knock on. The scrums are absolutely almost unplayable on pro mode. Um, I find it very, very difficult to to win my uh, scrums, even if I do get the perfect um, throw. Like for instance there. Um, Alright. Uh, yes. You see I tend to lose my scrums every time. But that doesn't matter. Because I can just steal their ruck at almost any given time. <laughs> no, the ruck is not in the game. Um, New Zealand are not licensed in this game. They left out most of the features. And it is a pity because um, New Zealand is one of the best teams in the world and so is South Africa and England and Australia as well. Argentina has been making uh, good ground. Fiji also, it's not that bad. So it's major teams that they've left out of the game. It is very disappointing. Um, I don't know if they were fighting over the the um, licenses with rugby uh, challenge. That's the only thing I can think of is that rugby challenge made sure that they get basically four of the best teams in the world's license before rugby 20 actually did. Maybe at a later stage you can actually maybe uh, Buy an add-on. I don't know. Oh, that was well played out wide. And they've kept possession at the back of this rock. Oh, that's a terribly executed pass. Manages to get the offload away. No. He gets back onto his feet to challenge for the ball. Yeah, I would be willing to pay a couple couple of bucks for, for an add-on. I mean, um, anything to improve the game in the long run. Because I think maybe the next the next uh, edition of of uh, Big Ben might be actually a very good game. Because they've got the best fundamentals they already have in place. So. It's just maybe fixing the graphics a little bit and working on certain um, facets of the game. Like, for instance, the online mode, definitely, um, it's absolutely poor compared to Rugby Challenge. It's one of the features in Rugby Challenge that is actually uh, very good. Keep the ball. The ball is out for the scrum half. There's not a great deal of support there. Right, so I'm actually struggling a little bit here on pro mode, but I think it's because my team rating is not that high. Um, I played the top, the pro 14 earlier today. I did put a video on my channel um, as I was playing as Ulster, and I managed to beat. Um, Leinster I think by 37 points to 7 on pro mode ah there's there's the first one so it took 55 minutes to get the first one but it's been happening 
like almost forever in the, every penalty. Uh, I pressed a button too quickly there. So in the end you're playing against 13 men instead of 15 the whole time. Um, which is an unfair contest anyway. Oh dear. Pushing straight and pushing hard. It's hooked back. The scrum half gets us going again. He took off like a rocket through the defence. They set up a run. One more. See, I think if if I'm not able to to steal their rucks so easily, I could actually struggle on pro. Um, I really think I, it would take a little bit of time to to actually beat the computer if the rocks wasn't so easy to steal. So there's the second one in a matter of a couple of minutes in the game. Um, it's something that I don't want to see because now you've got two yellow cards against you and it makes for unfair play. Oh dear. <laughs> Ball for Williams. Oh, he was excellent in that contest. Great pass. A grubber kick behind the defence. It's a rock for Sale. Sale. Managing to keep the ball. Hammers it. Decides to kick the ball clear. Ball taken by Good. Um, the highest rated club team or international team? Um, I think at club level it could be uh, Munster. I think Munster is rated 80, 86. And internationally it's New Zealand but they're not licensed. After New Zealand the highest ranked team is Wales. And then I think South Africa, but they're also not licensed. It's missed. So in the Pro 14, I think it's Munster and Leinster. And who else? I can't remember um, exactly who was the other one. But I know Munster are rated the highest in the Pro 14. The ball's moved on. Rock forms. Turnover, turnover for the defense. There's big gaps on the outside. Not easy that hand off. There's the I'm still struggling to to do that uh, twist. I did manage to get it right a couple of times. It's actually a little bit frustrating that Big Ben uh, didn't give us a manual for the controls so that we know exactly which way to to press. So that will be a ball the right the analog seven. stick, but I think even they themselves don't really know. So, good takes the ball to the ground. Let's see how they get on with this line out with everyone in. Good passing. I actually managed to move the ball a bit wide for a change but again it's so easy just to steal their ball one thing that also annoys me is the fact that the wing is standing back too far um, so when you when you hit a gap like this you're not really able to um, take full advantage of that because that should have been a try for Nanai all the way upfield there's another one that's the third one in this game since the 55th minute I mean it's ridiculous tackles um, in real in real life rugby it would have been a red straight red card anyway and for this they only give a yellow card Lineouts are also very easy. Just um, find one pass and then just pass again to that same player after that. 
and you don't lose your ball. In they go to the run. Ball still in the hands of Say. He gives the ball. A rocks ball. Excellent defense, and they've got the ball back. It looks like they're going to try something special here, Ben. Something magic. That's right, Nick. It'll be really interesting to see what exactly. I think you will enjoy it. Um, Logan, as I say, um, it's not the best rugby game ever made, um, but it will keep you busy for a while. Um, I'm actually, I actually bought it, or the time when the first beta came out, I pre-ordered it and I was able to play the beta. Um, I cancelled my pre-order, I think two days after playing the first beta. Um, because I felt it was ex absolutely crap and then I saw some gameplay on the second second beta and I pre-ordered it again so now it's just keeping me busy until rugby challenge um, 4 comes out it's not a bad game like I say it will keep you busy there's enough competitions to play um, it's just not the career mode or the solo mode is not exactly like rugby 18 I enjoy the career mode more and I mean I bought rugby 18 um, earlier in this week no in last week I think early last week just to to get the time pass to actually play rugby 20 and the career mode in Rugby 18 Excellent for me was better than Rugby 20's career mode. But we'll see maybe on the patch if they do um, update the patch for us. Whether some things might change. I don't know. Great platform to attack from here, from this rock. So you can see I'm playing it on pro, um, although it's not a high scoring game. Some of the stuff are still the same. The defense are just a little better from from uh, the AI. But as far as losing the game, I doubt that, that I'm really in any danger of losing this game. After the defense, they really snuffed out that attack. Just a bit imprecise that man. They kept possession at the back of this run. They must get the ball out to the wingers. Rock. Ball still in their possession. The referee says that's a rock. Right, I think I'm going to end this game by kicking it out and then I just want to go and show you guys the stamina level of of the team um, something that I mentioned earlier after a game you need to manage your your squad to actually um, not run out of gas because then you are definitely going to lose um, which nation sold the record for the Pro 14 Championship Oh dear, no. Alright, there was a time that Munster dominated and Leinster dominated, yeah, so that was just a stupid answer anyway. Right, just to go to my team management, as you guys can see, um, the stamina has gone down, not that much, but the more you play, um, the more the stamina goes down. So definitely after my next game, I'm going, yeah, but that, that is a friendly, okay, so you play friendlies and you play your league matches, friendlies you can just like get money, I've got 2,434 uh, rugby dollars at the moment, um, basically what you can do is you can improve your skill of a player, cost a thousand bucks, so that money is not a lot you can recover the stamina of a certain player costs four hundred dollars healing costs six hundred if you if your player are injured and then you got your staff um, your psychotherapist um, they 
they don't really work at the moment. They during the season they they tell you there's a recommendation from the coach or the doctor, and it costs so much. Um, like I already upgraded my psychotherapist. Cost my cost me 400 uh, rugby dollars at the time. So you don't really use that a lot. Um, I'm gonna use an uh, example. Um, defensive tackling, lineouts, jackling. I don't need to improve. I can already jackle the ball. Maybe just increase the scrum. Um, and intense. So let's go with Franco Mostert first. And that cost me a thousand rugby bucks to improve his um, scrumming technique or whatever. So let's go into this friendly and see if we can earn some bucks. It's 200 and something that's on the line, not a lot. As you could see, that uh, skill cost me a thousand bucks. Tonight's match could be a real show. Ben, good evening. Right, so my next match is a friendly. It's not a league match. It's basically just to Kick earn off. some profit now. from the game. So we start the match. The jersey. If you were wondering, I did create it myself. I, I tried to replicate the, the Sharks from South Africa. This was the closest that I actually could get to, to create their jersey, or close to it anyway. Um, so I truly I hope that they, the next patch that you'll be able to edit your team name. Duplen will take charge of the kick. And it ends up safe in his arms. They pile into the rock. Yeah. And the ball in the arms. Yeah, if you don't pass quickly enough, um, you will be caught. A grubber on the fly. Oh, that's just a pathetic kick. First throw in at the 40 minute mark. So they'll keep the ball. Gaps opening up out wide. A yeah, so there's really no no attacking uh, presence from the AI at the moment. Um, I find their gameplay to be very poor. Um, their skill level is probably that of a beginner. That's right, Nick. They were so tenacious and they got their reward with that try. Sexton, it's through. Two more points for his team. So safe under the high ball. The ball's being moved around. This is going to be a real struggle. Um, this is this um, the second division. I got promoted from the first one. Um, this is actually my second, no, third game. That's why my first game, which I played, I thought I was playing on pro level. Um, you probably have to go and change that every time you go up in a division. So, I managed to get, I think, that two grand for getting promoted. But you, like I say, you do get uh, points to go and uh, 
buy more players from my squad. Um, I'll actually go after this game. I will go to to my squad and see if I can't buy another booster pack to get some different players. Let's go for a drop goal. It's over. So Logan, uh, who who do you support? Which team is your favourite? That's it. The first half comes to its conclusion. So 40 minutes left to play. Let's see if Van can come back. Here's the first of the high tackles. It seems to happen more often in the second half. Ospreys and Wales. Yeah, I've got a buddy from Wales that also um, support Wales. Um. Everybody in the line out. It's a full one. Ball held on to after the throw in. They still have the advantage. It's a pity that I didn't follow the Pro 14 and the European Cup Championship. Um, I was just busy at the time when they started. But I will be following Super Rugby and the Six Nations. I think that Wales might just go ahead and win the Six Nations again. Um, I think they'll have to be wary of England again. And in Ireland, always a good team. Unless you're playing World Cup. So, I'm not sure if this thing jumped back to amateur level again because it's almost too easy unless the team that I'm playing against are crap because it almost seems too easy to to score now um, I'm from South Africa so I basically support the the Natal Sharks and the Springboks um, if I probably have to choose a Pro 14 team, um, I would probably go for, she's like, I don't know, I don't support the Cheetahs, um, they're not that good, neither do I support the Kings, so I, I always thought a lot about Ulster, um, I think Ruan Pinar played for them for quite a long time. He was like a legend at Ulster. Um, and then also Marcel Kutsia is there at the moment. But uh, I'm not sure how good they have been the last couple of seasons though. <laughs> Gathers the ball from the throw. The They're joining the mall, putting their shoulder to the wheel. Alright, I think this is still on pro because I did lose a scrum. Just a couple really of minutes well back, I think. It's a rock. So Alright, so they might be able to score a try here because the defense are very bad. Um, you'll see when you buy the game that the defense on the try line is, is basically non-existent. Um, you're more likely to score, or the opposition are more likely to score 5 meters from your try line. Um, like, impossible to defend really. One more player comes into the run. Excellent offload out of the tackle. He gets back onto his feet to challenge for the ball. And the attack leads to a run. Great read from the defense. Yeah, that's how to keep the ball alive. I just want to finish this game so that I can go and see if I can buy some new booster pack to see which players are available. 
Um, so yeah, this was on pro difficulty. As you can see, it was quite easy. Yeah, it's it's basically basically like that. Um, I didn't play. I did play FIFA, um, but I'm not a big fan of of it. I did buy the the FIFA 20. Um, so I've got 40, 45,000 um, SP points. So let's go to. Is it my squad or my collections? Let me just. No, it's it's my collections, and then you go to to my boosters. I did get a booster pack for standard players for free. So there you can see. Basically, there's no no big name there. Um, then you can go actually and buy booster packs. There's different ones: standard challenges, superior challenges, epic. So I'll go ahead and see what epic players they've got. I think the epic players are the biggest. But there's your different. You can buy a, a team booster pack. Um, I did buy one and I was so disappointed by what I got so I won't go for that, I'd rather go for for the epic player one. So let's go and see who we get. Um, yeah so basically Scannel is one of the players that's new there, let's just go and have a look quickly um, so these are the ones you'll see there's a little sign that shows my custom team so this guy is new I don't know who he is he's from France I think it's not a known guy so Duan van der Merwe um, I don't really know him so but his rating isn't bad so I'll go ahead and add him to my squad a bit later. Um, let's just go ahead and see who else is there that I haven't added. So Scannel, um, I don't have a picture of him, but his rating is 86, so I will definitely go ahead and add him to my squad. Let's go to my squad quickly and um, manage. So that's my squad that I've created or gotten from my cards. Um, let me just add these guys to my team that I think is worth it. Um, F. Morris, I've got no idea who he is. Um, I've never heard of him before. Then Alovili, I also don't know. But I'll take him just to increase my, my squads performance so I've got a center wing a hooker and a fullback center fly off and another winger so these four guys basically cost me 30 30 SP points and it takes a while to rack them up actually um, you have to play quite a bit of games to to actually get there um, is there any sp thing specific that you wanted to see, Logan, or uh, can I continue with solo mode? just going to go and continue career you can see it's season 2 week 14 um, here's your standings and your fixtures so this is only three matches so this is going to be my final game in season 2 and I'm playing booster 
Um, yeah. So, so you can see by my events that I've got this game now, and then there's a stuff uh, upgrade offer and a recruitment offer. So you can actually buy players as well but I mean it costs a lot and you don't get a lot oh, that's an easy answer Brian Lima is the only guy to ever play in five different World Cups so right I am quite interested to see what happens after this as this is my final game in season 2 um. I'll be sharing the microphone in the commentary box tonight with Ben Right ben. Logan what is your thoughts on on the graphics I don't know if you if you've played rugby challenge Hi Archie, um, do you know how to fake pass? I think basically you press downwards on your on your right analog stick because the reason why why I know that is that um, there's set set play moves. Um, I think something about a dummy dummy rangi. So that includes doing a fake pass but I'm not very good at that Still a few more moments before the match begins. Um, I'm struggling to a do a fake pass as well as also do I struggle with the twist Should have a rock. the ball comes free and is cleared ball taken by yeah it, look before rugby 20 betas came out and they keep um I actually only played rugby 15 of Big Ben before. Um, it was absolutely shocking at that time. I mean, I think it was the first rugby game on PlayStation 4 was, was rugby 15. We had to wait, I think, a couple of months for rugby challenge 3. Um, yeah, so as the time went on and I played Four Rugby 18 last sexton. week, the graphics was also a little bit shocking to me at times. Um, so Rugby 20 for me oh, is a little bit of an improvement. Ah, oh, look at that. They finally... No, they're score. not going to score. Because I steal the ruck so easily. He caught that ball well. Brilliantly positioned. Right, what just happened there? Managed to charge oh, down the kick. Oh, look at that offload. Strong work from Mostair. No, the the gameplay looks a little bit dark. Um, darker than usual. Still in their Don't know if it's the stadium that I'm playing. Um, there's a Rangi, but it doesn't include doing a fake pass. Uh, let's see, no, that set move is not going to work out. Um, right, this is something that I want to show you. Um, it's something that I feel the Rugby 20 can also fix. Um, I'm going to score a try anyway. Um, they won't be able to stop this no matter what they do. Um, just gonna maul it up. There's no way to defend this in, even in the online mode. So you guaranteed five points if you get a, a line out five meters from the line and you can actually win your line out and maul. So Hopefully they can change that. Um, by it was a great thought, but they should Will make it a little Wiggles bit more difficult to actually go ahead and the score that well try. Have a I see I've got a guy that is injured. My prop is injured, so I'll have to replace him. Let's just quickly go to team management. 
Um, basically what I do in my lineouts, I, I faint in the direction or in whether I want to go back, forward or in the middle. I do a faint pass and then I press circle again. So yeah, that is simple way to to go ahead. Now Logan, that's cool. I'll I'll be streaming maybe every day um, from 12 a.m. South African time. Um, I think it's 10 10 p.m. in Wales. So yeah, um, if I've got time, I will try and stream every night from 10 UK time. Right, so they did manage to score a try there. Um, just to remind, this is the final of season two. So I would say on pro level, um, I would like to see the computer con or the AI convert those kicks. Something in semi-pro or amateur that they could actually go and uh, miss the conversions. There's still little things that that they do terribly in this game. Like I say, the the AI has got uh, the brains of a beginner. Ah, hands in the rock. So yeah, I would have gone for goal, um, as it is a final. They've rather decided to go to touch. The if they do get their line out, they are minutes. going to to score. Ball for oh, he was I don't oh, think I'll be able to stop them all. And here comes the support, driving them all yeah, forward. I won't be able to stop He's that. So that's impossible to stop if you don't manage to to steal the line out ball. I get the impression the momentum has shifted totally. Another miss kick, um, I guess say on pro level, but inexcusable, because now I only need a drop goal to level up. And uh, okay, that didn't travel 10 meters, so I'm making silly mistakes at the moment. And I say the scrums are impossible to to win on pro level. Uh, welcome Lee. Um, my opinion on the game, um, there's a lot of discussion around it. Personally, I'm a little bit disappointed in, in Rugby 20. Um, it is, on certain aspects, it's an improvement from, from Rugby 18. Um, there's small things in the game though that, that makes this not so enjoyable. Um, if I had to rate Rugby 20 say out of 5 at the moment I would probably give it 2.5 out of 5 because of certain things like the rucks that you can steal so easily and um, like for instance that maul on the try line which I couldn't stop and vice versa and then, okay, I haven't noticed it a lot yeah, that's how to keep the ball alive. while playing or streaming now. There's a lot of high tackles. Some games you get five to six high tackles. And I mean, all of that's yellow cards. And in this function, and your player runs quickly. He decides to kick it. From open play, um, I would say the grubber kick is the easiest way because um, the, the AI really struggles to they have to, get the ball to, the winger. to defend that. The attacking team keeps the um, ball. And also, now if you if you manage to That's right, Nick. to Keep correctly here. perform a set play, say 10 meters from the from the opposition line. try line. It's really hard to stop. Um, you're more likely to to score. And then another thing, 
Um, they are leading 10-7 at the moment with time up and um, they should actually probably kick this out and it's something that they won't do so there is still an opportunity for me to win this game because regardless what they do they won't kick the ball out that looks like it'll be a rock Worcester win the ball at the end of the battle the tackle made, but the ball kept alive. It's stolen. They set up a ruck. And they keep possession. Alright. The defence are very solid. I'm just going to go ahead and kick this downfield. Because I know for a fact that they won't kick it out. Ball safely taken. He gets back onto his feet to challenge for Advantage. the ball. And then of course the advantage is also to uh, over too quickly. Williams steams along the outside. They've recovered it. Great pass. There's the tackle. Here's the rock being created. Damn it. Right, so they are willing to lose this game by not kicking out. Let's see if I can actually go and win this game from here. Rochier is grabbed and throws it out to Opportunity out wide. Right, my stamina are done for the day. <laughs> on Nanai. So now they will kick it now they will still not kick this out, so in the end, Good. I'm sure Second I'm going to, to win this game. Off to the side for Williams. Williams tries to gain ground. Oh no. Right. <laughs> so I will not, if you don't look at your stamina throughout the season, you are going to end up with players that, that is very slow. Um, geez, like, I have no idea. Probably 2015 16 season. Right, so week 16 gives you. Ah, there's, oh, there's the final. So, pool number one, pool A versus pool B. So, why did they say it's the final game? Right, so I basically lost that final game and I have to redo the whole season it seems, or what? So you got a staff upgrade offer. Um, the coach wants us to revamp the match and in this room to help improve team cohesion. Cost 400. Right, so I'll go ahead and buy that. Right Archie, thanks for watching. Um, I will be streaming again tomorrow night, same time. So I'll skip that. That is another friendly. I'll skip that one as well. And skip. So this is the final week 21. Oh, Alright, so this is week 21 in season 2. And Just have a look at my team. So the stamina are full.
Right, so any players that has joined me, if there's any questions regarding Rugby 20, just let me know in the comment section. Hold a definite advantage, but against all odds, their opponents may just end up giving them a surprise. Just waiting for the kickoff now. That's a great start. Really high ball. Got underneath it. Superb. He needs support. Wow, he's well and truly tackled. The ball's passed. Recycled. Out of contact for Evans. Turnover. Turnover for the defense. In touch. So, the first line-out of the match. So, they'll keep the ball. And the attack leads to a run. That ball's been taken by Scarlett. Davies will get us going again. He's taken to the ground, now he has to release the ball. Rock falls, Scarlett. Advantage over! Bad pass, didn't reach the intended target. Well defended by... Davies. It looks like they're going to try something special here, Ben. Something magic. That's right, Nick. It'll be really interesting to see what exactly. And it worked. It's clear, well thought through, and it's worked really well. Gaps opening up out wide. Scarlet turned the ruck over to take the ball. Good. Beneath the kick. Successful offload out of the tackle. They oh. formed a maul. The maul is really well organised. It's starting to make significant ground. That is top, top defence. Oh, that was a high tackle. That should be a yellow card. <coughs> Absolutely no doubt about that. That is a cast iron foul. It's a completely idiotic foul. Parks will have 10 minutes to watch his team try and get by without him. It was a dangerous thing to do, so the referee's absolutely right. Oh dear. And that one goes into touch. Sexton takes the ball in the air. Half penny finds touch. Let's see how they get on with this line out with everyone in. Oh, he is the king of the line outs right now. They're scrapping for the ball. The ball's being moved around. He makes a pass. There are huge opportunities on the wings. Nothing will stop him from there. Oh, what a move, Ben. What a try. Just brilliant. So remember, Played any questions so well regarding Rugby 20, I will be glad to answer them. Just uh, leave a question and I will answer it. Well, look at the concentration on the kicker's face. It's through. Two more points for his team. Williams recovers the ball. Williams finds his mate. There's not a great deal of support there. Scarlet defended the rock really well and win the ball. He gets back onto his feet to challenge for the ball. 
The siren goes, and that means when play stops, it'll be the end of the half. And a ruck is formed. Excellent defence, and they've got the ball back. The referee signals the end of the first half. Great catch, that was not easy. And it's cleared by Sexton. A great platform to attack from here, from this room. He passes it. Really sharp thinking for that pass. Oh, what a response. Oh, perfectly executed. For those of you wondering, um, I am playing on uh, pro mode. Um, I do feel that it is too easy at the moment and that they could maybe put a patch to make it a little bit more difficult. Good deep kick into the opposition territory. So it's a full seven man line out. That's another glitch in the game. If you do get to compete for the ball, uh, the hooker doesn't find a jumper on the, ball. the so first receiver. And he decides to clear his lines with that kick. Williams takes the ball. Oh, that's a terribly executed pass. It's a rock. A really good contest there, and they managed to get the ball. Sexton manages to pass it to... Well, we can all see the foul. Here it is on the replay. Such a stupid thing to do. Yellow card for Ball. The line-out general opting for a full line-out. They've worked hard to retain possession. What a sidestep! There's the tackle. Here's the rock being Play on. I wonder if they're going to confuse the defense with this move. He's keeping the ball in play. That looks like it'll be a rock. End of the advantage. There's a rock being created. Turnover ball. That's a clever pass out of the tackle. Oh dear. <laughs> there was a foul, but the referee is playing advantage. Oh, it's ruled a knock on for a charge down in rugby 20. I definitely don't know their rules. Scarlets decide to make a change. Regarding the charge down. 22. between the two packs by Wigglesworth. Attacking options here for the number nine. There's room on the outside. What a turnover. He pushes back the tackle. You've got to admire the defense, Ben. A change of tactics. Davies will kick the ball clear after pulling it free. This is going to be a real struggle. They still of the ball just a few minutes left before the end of this match that's not what they planned but it was cracking defense they set up a rock they still control the ball and can go wide oh he's got it out of the tackle oh he's got it out of the tackle 
There's big gaps on the outside. The tackle by Parks. They've held on. They are in place for the move. Everyone needs to time his run correctly. Great switch move there. It's fair to say that move came off there. You're right, Nick. And that is a set play. What try. A move, what a finish. A try that no one can possibly question. And it sails between the posts. Training offer. I need to go and work on that more, so let's go and do the training. Right, move up the pitch and pass the ball to avoid the mannequins. Long you hold down uh, one R1 along the pass distance. Oh dear. This is basic stuff. So it's the end of the season.
That is something new, there's an optional league world championship tournament. Um, you got the option of saying yes or no, I will join that. So this is the third season of solo mode. Is this game? Is this the first? Yes, it's a division match. that I need. Um, stamina is full. So let's go ahead and play a game. I have no idea.
Good evening, Nick. It's a beautiful day for rugby. I think this pool match should be a cracker. I wouldn't want to count my chickens just yet, but Gloucester certainly seem to be a cut above. This should be a formality. It's true that they face a challenge, but anything can happen out on the pitch, and all it takes is a truly great day for their opponents, and expectations will be overturned. Everyone is in position and the Welcome to Rugby 20 to um, for the people that are watching if there's any questions that you would like to me to answer for you just give me a shout out and I'll be glad to answer any questions that you might have Oh missed tackle Sexton might have some space on that side He'll score from there. The defense really got their man there. He gives the ball. Sharp passing. Armand is grabbed and throws it out to Treadwell. Hi, Logan. <laughs> the scrum um, gets us going again. If you missed out on something, um, I've managed to finish my second perfect. season. Um, this is my first game in the third season. Um, as you will see, I scored an early try. It is unfortunately again, I think, on amateur level because I forgot to, to change it back to pro. Williams beneath the kick. Successful offload out of the tackle. He passes the ball. A great platform to attack from here, from this ruck. There's the tackle. Here's the ruck being created. And a ruck is formed. And they've kept possession at the back of this ruck. They're going to work hard for the ball. The attacking team keeps the ball. Good passing. And he still manages to free up the ball despite that contact. He gets back onto his feet to challenge for the ball. Pass. So Logan, tell me, um, do you follow Super Rugby or the Rugby Championship? Or you just watch the Pro 14 and the European Cup Championship and the Six Nations? Definitely deserve the yellow. First throw in at the 27 minute mark. That's almost a penalty, but it's well taken by Williams. Sexton keeps the ball moving. Oh dear. Really shouldn't have tried that pass. They still control the ball and can go wide. Got underneath it. Superb. They're keeping the ball alive with all these offloads. Oh, you watch the internationals. Um, in oh, that's a terrible. Yeah, it's basically depends more on uh, where you are in the world. Um, like I said, I haven't really been following the Pro 14 and the Six Nations as much as I would have wanted to. Um, I know Super Rugby starts next weekend. Um, can't wait for it. And then we have to wait a little while for the Rugby Championship. But the Six Nations also start on the first, so... I will be following that because uh, I will be doing Great some uh, videos on YouTube on the teams previewing of the games and also the review of the games. 
and maybe do some video reactions. It's just a bit difficult to, to actually do uh, reaction videos because uh, I don't have the copyright for the for the videos. So it's difficult to to show actual videos of the games. It'll have to do with basically um, pictures. I think I've got a program that I can use to to actually record the games and then take screenshots of it and maybe just give my opinion on on what went down. I don't know if you have subscribed to my channel. Um, I do quite a lot of videos on Rugby 20 and Rugby Challenge and I also, like I said, I'll be doing videos on the Six Nations and so on if you are interested. <laughs> oh dear. Well, the referee couldn't fail to penalise that foot in. They're playing with fire too often, so a logical free kick. Cool, man. Um, so, what do you think of my channel so far? Um, is there anything that you think that I can improve, or some suggestions or videos that I that I should do? They must get the ball out to the wingers. A rocks ball. Scannell send it on to Sexton. Players flying in, adding their weight to this mall. Right, I see we've got another viewer. Um, if there's anything, all oh right, he's left. Um, organize themselves really well, ready to stop that forward movement. And they keep possession. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Um, I do do uh, spend a lot of time on my videos, so I appreciate it um, when people do comment and subscribe and like my videos. Announced by Gloucester. Moster goes off and is replaced by Yeah, like I said, I've got, I've got a lot of spare time at the moment, so basically it's good. Um so safe under the to answer the Saints question, um the computer doesn't really give you a challenge. This one, um, I just started my third season in solo mode, so it automatically goes back to amateur level. Got to put it back to pro, but it's absolutely um, bad play from the computer, really. Um, they don't really have a sense for rugby. I would say I would rate them as beginners maybe and I would really like to see them improve that it's like I said to all the other guys um, if if they could just fix the fact that you can steal the ruck so easily um, I think the computer will have more possession and it will be a little bit more difficult to actually play them but at the moment they get the ball and you just turn it over regardless on what difficulty you play it. It's a rock for Gloucester. A game saving tackle. He absolutely had to be stopped right then. Perfectly executed tackle. Absolutely impeccable. The ball is taken cleanly. Oh, sit down. They still have control of the ball. The ball is out for the scrum half. They set up a ruck. 
and turned over the ball. Kicked, kicked down, down the pitch, pitch to push, to push Gloucester, Gloucester back. back. Sometimes you have to realise when the kick is the only tactical option just to relieve that pressure. But there's also the risk of a counter-attack that could rip through the defence. Absolutely, that's why the position of the kick is so important. Uh, thanks, Saint. Um, I tried to do my best. Um, really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Um, the more the merrier. And I will do plenty of rugby videos in the upcoming weeks, days. Um, it's going to be more rugby 20 gameplay. Um, we're waiting for rugby challenge 4. And also I'll be doing some videos on the Six Nations as well as uh, Super Rugby. Don't know how many guys will actually follow Super Rugby and subscribe to my channel. But I have been getting positive feedback on that as well. So I'll have to adjust my... Uh, players cause because of the stamina otherwise they will burn out in the upcoming games so alright that's fine that's still fine mm -hmm. let's put Tyler Ardron in there no he's not Let's just do that. Let's change my locks as well. As well. No, it's not. Let's do that. I got too many players now. I'll have to get rid of some of them. Um, it's 1.47 a.m. at the moment here in South Africa. Um, I did get my sleeping patterns a little bit mixed up. Right, I see my internet connection quality is currently not sufficient to broadcast gameplay. So hopefully that will be back soon enough. Which Irish team won the Pro 14? Was it Leinster? Yes. Yeah, I reckon, um, like I said, I've got a friend from Wales. Um, so we, we normally play um, online rugby challenge and so on. Um, if you want to, when you get your game tomorrow, we can can invite each other on uh, PlayStation. I don't know if you've got the Xbox or PlayStation. I've got the PlayStation, so if you do use the PlayStation, um, you can just send me a friend request. Um, it's Joe Rugby Guru, and uh, we can play a game tomorrow. We may yet witness a major upset if Northampton try to rest on their laurels. Though. The commitment that they put in on the pitch will make all the difference. Right, so this is going to be my second game in season three solo mode. 
Sexton takes the ball to the ground. Um, I had to rest a couple of my key players. Uh, that's cool. Um, I said I've seen some uh, video clips on on guys that that got the Xbox and on Rugby Challenge Free they were able to edit the kits and the players in a sense that's uh, realistic. They got the latest kits and stuff on Xbox, so I actually thought about buying myself an Xbox just just for that but hopefully Rugby Challenge 4 will yeah, will have a, a import option and an image import system or something so we can import our logos and shirts and so on Oh, I forgot to, to go and change the, the, the difficulty level again. Um, it's actually so easy at the moment. Ball taken by Rollins. Ball is born. Now they have to keep moving forward. And Yeah, that is something that they they could have a look at, because um, I mean we're not. I don't think we're far away from a from an esports tournament for for the rugby games. Um, there's been talks of it for quite some time, so I think we're about a year or or less away from a decent esport um, thing for rugby and I would definitely compete in that um, I sometimes feel that playing online with, with the lag that is involved in in some countries um, I don't I'm not able to to, to show my pr true potential um, I did do an online game on rugby 20 yesterday with Ben Jones and it was absolutely crappy demolished me but it was difficult to get used to the lag because you had passes that was delayed and and your tackles were delayed so there was a lot of factors in that he decides to kick the ball she's like all right scrum of the match Here's a scrum somewhat 45 yards out. Crouch! Fine! Everything is so easy on amateur level. Um, oh, the scrum's gone down under real pressure from the opposition. It's no challenge at all. We're just waiting for the referee's whistle to bring this half to an end now. The ball I'll just is kick, go ahead and kick this out. And that's it. The first half comes... Its conclusion and the second half of the match underway. He's gathered that ball really well. Brilliant tackle, Simpson with Morris. Gibson tackles Morris. They really should be getting the ball out to the wingers. Excellent offload out of the tackle. What a break! Um, I didn't play the World Cup edition, um, I played the one that came out just before that. Um, yeah, it was the first rugby game that came out on PlayStation 4 that time. Um, I was really disappointed with it, because um, it was the same company. Um, it was developed by Big Ben, but actually... Uh, no, it was developed by HB Studios, which uh, developed Rugby 08 with EA Sports, and that was probably the best rugby game ever made. Um, so after that, when they said they're going to bring out a World Cup edition, I just said, no, I'm not going to go ahead and buy it. 
Um, I rather waited for rugby challenge three that time. And I mean, I, I was playing rugby challenge. I'm still playing rugby challenge actually, um, because of the online engine that they got. Um, it's not like rugby twenty. I mean, for for us to play against each other, I'm from South Africa. You're from from the UK. The connection is actually quite good. It's only when when I play against New Zealand players or Australian players that it's almost impossible to play against. How did you find the Rugby World Cup game? Keeps the ball moving. The pass out of contact for Ardron. They've held on. Look at the backs getting into position. It's worth trying, Nick. Can they make it work? Look at this. Plenty of space out wide. Oh, wonderful offload. The tackle by Gibson. He can't stop him. Sexton takes it on the outside. He can't be caught now. Finally, the score that settles it, the try that they have been searching for. Oh yes, we'll enjoy the replay of that. Was that the uh, rugby 15 edition? Now. Yeah. Yeah, the rugby World Cup in 2015 <laughs> for me was really disappointing. Um, it was the year we we lost to Japan in the World Cup. There's a bit of room and he's there. Scrum half launched the next attack. It probably wasn't that bad. Like I said, I didn't play the World Cup edition, but uh, as I heard, it was basically the same as as the first edition, with only that you had the license for the international for some of the international teams. Um, they didn't have highlights and yeah everything was so basic I I think you couldn't even pass left or right you you pressed the analog stick in the direction you wanted to go left or right I think so for me rugby 20 is a big improvement from that um, like I said there's, there's some things that's better and in rugby 18 but personally I feel there's the some things that's that's actually better in rugby 18 like for instance the career mode where you could actually go ahead and buy the players that you wanted here yeah, you get ultimate team cards and you have to do with what they give you I mean you're going to have um, booster packs that you buy for 60, 60,000 SP points and you only get like one player that's worth picking really. And I mean you have to play quite a few games to to rack up those SP points. Yeah. But sadly <laughs> to the left of the posts. So the score stays at nil. Seventy. Right, I did manage to get thirty-five thousand SP points since I bought my last booster pack. I think you were locked in when when I did buy that one. She's like, I definitely don't know. Right. Um, I think um, I'm going to end my live stream now. It's 2 a.m. in South Africa. I probably have to go and get some sleep. Um, 
thank you guys for for joining in um, I will do that again tomorrow at 10 p.m. UK time so any of you guys that's interested in joining me tomorrow for another live stream I will be coming to you guys live tomorrow from 10 p.m. UK time thanks for joining me um, just for now see you guys tomorrow